Hello everyone, Happy New Year. In this video, we're going to talk about the Doodles NFT project, talk about what the next possible Doodles can be, and while doing so, reveal to you the biggest alpha I've learned since being in the NFT space. If you don't know, Doodles was a NFT project that launched on October 17th, so a little over 2.5 months ago, and has taken the NFT space by storm. As you can see here, the project has nearly 5.7 thousand unique owners, a floor price of nearly 12 Ethereum, and a total of about 55 thousand Ethereum in volume traded. Although these numbers are of course very, very impressive, what is most intriguing about Doodles is the rate at which this happened. Doodles was able to achieve these numbers in two and a half months, which is unheard of with new projects. For analogy, we can look at Cool Cats, which is of course another really popular NFT project. However, Cool Cat minted in July, yet still it has a lower unique ownership, a lower floor price, and although the volume traded is a lot higher, Doodles is fastly catching up. All that to say that the velocity of Doodles rise has been nothing short of incredible. Now, if you recall a little over a month ago, I made a video about my top 10 PFP projects to buy during the then NFT bear market, and Doodles was on that list, and at that time traded under a floor price of 1 Ethereum. However, at the time, I failed to take my own advice for one particular reason, and that is because I didn't conduct enough research on the artist behind Doodles, who is of course, Burnt Toast. It was only until recently that I did some real research on Burnt Toast, and here's what I found. It quickly became obvious to me that Burnt Toast was no ordinary or new artist. In fact, they were creating their unique signature animated work years before the NFT space was popular. For example, on their website, we can see the vast diversity of projects that Burnt Toast has created, and not only for people in display, but also for organizations. For example, on their Behance page, it states that they have created art for some of the largest companies in the world, including Google and Facebook. For example, here's a recent project that they created with WhatsApp to encourage vaccinations for COVID-19. In traditional Burnt Toast style, these stickers are simplistic yet very cute pleasing to the eye, and they have an appeal to the masses. In addition, Burnt Toast has a huge following on Instagram with nearly 280,000 followers, and they have been creating art similar to what we now call Doodles for years. Although I believed in Doodles a few months ago, my conviction went through the roof when I discovered all of Burnt Toast's wonderful work. I mentioned Burnt Toast for one particular reason, and that leads me to the biggest alpha that I can provide to you in the NFT space. This might seem underwhelming to you, and I definitely sound like a broken record as I've said this many times before, but the alpha is that in the NFT space, it is all about betting on the right people. Now, of course, this holds true for many instances in real life as well, but in the NFT space, if you can bet on the right people who have a proven track record, who have executed before, and you're able to invest in their NFT projects, that is the single greatest recipe for long-term success. More specifically, if you can bet on artists and founders that have been using the artistic medium far longer than even the existence of the NFT space, that's even better and can make all the difference. Now, of course, there can't be another Doodles in the sense that there can't be another Bored Apes and there can't be another CryptoPunks. However, we can look at upcoming projects to see if they fit a similar thesis of betting on the people, as was the case with Doodles. And immediately what comes to mind is the project Invisible Friends. Invisible Friends is a NFT project scheduled to launch next month. And as was the case with Doodles, it has a similar, if not greater, amount of anticipation and demand. Considering the similar mass appeal of this art and the fact that many influencers have expressed interest in this project, this is all but set for success. However, to truly figure out if it can pull a move like Doodles, we have to do further research on the artist, as we did with Burnt Toast. The artist for Invisible Friends is Marcus Magnussen, and similar to Burnt Toast, they have their own dedicated website where they link to their various social media platforms. Namely, on their Instagram, once again, they have a tremendous following 
and work that is similar to that of Invisible Friends that they have created for years. Similarly, their Behance profile has around 450,000 project views and they have also done interviews with companies like Adobe. You can read a lot more about Marcus's work, but I just show you this to illustrate the point that Marcus and Invisible Friends have the potential to do what Doodles and Burnt Toast so brilliantly did. And to reiterate, that's all based upon the alpha, the thesis, which is betting on the right people. While we're at Invisible Friends, I just want to mention some logistics so you can be ready for this release next month. Invisible Friends is part of a larger organization called Random Character Collective. And since Invisible Friends is an entirely whitelisted project with no public sale, the only way to be able to participate is to hold some of the previous works of this collective. Namely, the two specific collections that they require you to hold for the whitelist is this Mood Rollers collection and also Slime Hoods. Now, you can read more about how many of each you are required to hold, and I will post a link to the Random Collective Discord below. But at the moment, in order to guarantee an Invisible Friends whitelist spot, you need to hold four of either collection. And considering that each collection has a floor price of 1.25 Ethereum, that's about 5 Ethereum for a whitelist. So essentially at the moment, the market is forecasting a floor price of 5 Ethereum for the Invisible Friends collection. However, if any of our analysis on betting on the right people is true, Invisible Friends can potentially be worth more than that. The only caveat here is that Invisible Friends does not have a roadmap at the moment, and we know that the market values utility. Now, this is not necessarily an area of concern because when Doodles launched, they also did not have a roadmap, but now, of course, we know that they have many great and ambitious plans. So, assuming that Invisible Friends can lay out a similar roadmap path, we can be sure that this is the closest we're going to get to the next Doodles. At the conclusion of this video, and while we're talking about NFTs, I wanted to bring up that recently I have also launched a very small NFT collection of mine. This is something that I plan to dedicate most of my time to, but essentially the NFT meta community, you can call it a paid Discord, but it is not just that. It is essentially a tight-knit community of people who are working towards achieving similar goals, not just caring for themselves, but also for the success of the collective. So as it states here in the description, my goal here is to ensure that people are able to take part in the most promising upcoming projects and also for this to serve as a one-stop shop for people who perhaps are too busy to constantly be involved in the NFT space and who just want to check a community to be up to date. There will only be 270 NFT meta NFTs which gives you access to the Discord so if you would like to join I'll post the links in the description below. Okay, thank you so much for watching. It is an absolute pleasure to have over 3,000 subscribers now, and I'm very thankful that you take time to watch my videos, even though I'm still learning along the way, and the goal for this whole process is to document my learning. So remember to always bet on people, and I will see you in the next video.